Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. My name is Dr. Saima Mushtaq and our today's topic of infectious medicine is cryptococcus. Different outlines which we will discuss in our today's topic of cryptococcus are first we will go over the etiology of cryptococcus, what are the uh, causes that can cause cryptococcal infection. Then we will discuss the epidemiology and we will talk about this epidemiology in detail. We will discuss how the spread of the cryptococcal infection occurs and then what are some risk factors that predispose to the infection caused by cryptococcus and what are the uh, uh, common regions of the world where the cryptococcal infection is more common. Then we will talk about the pathogenesis of cryptococcus and how the infection spread and we will talk about the pathogenesis at the molecular level, how the virulence factors are released and then how the spread of the microorganism occurs to the brain and can cause meningeal cryptococcal infection. Then we will discuss in detail about the clinical manifestations of cryptococcus, the three organs which are affected by the cryptococcal infection, the very important initially the lungs are affected and what are the features associated with pulmonary cryptococcus, we will discuss those. Then we will talk about the manifestations of uh, cryptococcal meningeal infection. If the infection reaches the meninges, how the patient will present and then what are the lesions associated with cutaneous uh, cryptococcal infections. All these different uh, structures we will discuss and how the patient will present. Then we will uh, talk about the pathology. We will go over some macroscopic uh, pictures and slides and then we will talk about some microscopic slides of the cryptococcal infection, how the uh, cryptococcus appears in the uh, cerebrospinal fluid, in the blood smears and also in the lung tissues and the uh, uh, brain tissues. Then we will talk about the tests performed for the diagnosis of the cryptococcus and the most important is uh, the uh, blood smear and cerebrospinal smear and then the cultures of blood and cerebrospinal fluid are important and the direct uh, uh, in tests performed for the detection of the antigens also is important in the diagnosis. So we will talk about all these tests. Then we will talk in detail about the treatment options available for the pulmonary cryptococcal infection for the uh, cryptococcal meningitis, if it's uh, HIV associated, non-HIV associated and then how we treat different conditions. So all that we will talk in our lecture. Then we will talk about the complications of uh, uh, cryptococcus meningitis and how the what are the complications that can develop like uh, uh, cranial nerve deficits can occur, then we have vision loss can occur. So all these different complications can occur after the uh, cryptococcal infection. Then we will talk about the prevention of the uh, cryptococcus and the drug use for the prophylaxis or prevention of the cryptococcus infection. 
So all these topics we will discuss in our today's lecture of crypto caucuses. And besides that, we have uh, about thousands of lectures available on our website of scardia.com. And you can access those lectures by visiting the website. Thanks for watching scardia.com.